Om Shanti, today is your 149th day of your godly blessing and this blessing talks to us about in a godly way regarding our attachments to so many things not just things, not just people but even to ourselves so we are going to explore, explore all those things and explain those things under God's guidance as to what all things can we be detached from so as to be connected to God throughout the day whenever we are doing any kind of karma we are totally detached from what people say what people do what I think what they think and any kind of dependency so let's explore today's blessing and understand how to become an easy yogi that means to be able to be connected to God throughout the day <music> Baba says in today's blessing, may you be an easy yogi who is able to be detached and loving. How to be detached but at the same time loving. Loving towards God, loving towards other people but still being detached. So that means not being attached, right? So and thereby remains free from attachment. So detachment doesn't mean that you stop loving people, you start ignoring people, you stop talking to people but it is a form of not being attached to them or dependent upon them any in any manner whether it's physical or it's mental manner we'll explore that in this blessing so let's go into the depth of it baba says in order to experience any easy yogi life to be an easy yogi to be in connection with god or to be in connection with anything which you're doing in your life if you are getting distracted by small small things in your life then even that purpose of your work will not be finished you won't be able to reach to the end of completion of that work because you're getting attached to things or to people or to situations or to your own thoughts or to your own weaknesses or even to your own ego we'll explore that in a minute so baba says you don't have to just be detached externally that means you just stop talking to people you just stop showing any interest in people you stop calling them you stop uh, talking to them sweetly or behaving sweetly to them that's not detachment baba says that is heaviness that is being egoistic that means you have certain weaknesses within you which is showcasing in your behavior so Baba says but you must not have any attachment in your mind when we are dependent upon people we generally get tired or we get angry when they don't do certain things as the way we want them to do we want it immediately we want them to do it right now I have said now it should happen now not tomorrow and that is also an attachment so God says that makes you angry that makes you have ego or jealousy or any form of upheaval in your mind because somebody did not listen to you somebody listened to somebody else that also creates jealousy somebody did not listen to you your ego gets hurt somebody did not do it immediately you get angry so that is a form of attachment attachment is not just that people have to be separated from you from your life and you have to move far away from those people so as to say that see I'm detached from them God says that's why he says that live in your household and be a yogi not become a sannyasi so at Brahma Kumaris God doesn't teach us to leave a family to leave a husband and wife and brothers and sisters and children no God says you stay within them but reform your method reform your weaknesses within you so how do we become attached to those things we generally become attached when people are giving us a lot of love appreciation they give us a lot of upheaval in our mind about our good thoughts about our capabilities about our good ideas and we come into that upheaval and we become very excited and suddenly when they don't give it to us again when they don't appreciate us they don't give us that sense of upheaval in our mind of feeling good at that point of time we think it's better to be detached from these people so it's a war going on in our mind when they appreciate us when they talk good about us we come closer to them when they don't give us that appreciation which we actually want to take it from God who is an extremely continuous source of appreciation we tend to bend towards people and human souls for that appreciation and that's where the complete tug of war happens and we get angry we get jealous if we are not given that attention anymore and somebody else is given that attention so God says why do you want to go into that 
be connected to me for all the love and appreciation and everything forget people don't take it from people that is also a form of attachment so that attachment has to be finished then god says to the extent that someone becomes detached from all these things from wanting appreciation wanting approval from people for your ideas wanting appreciation that yes see you are right so wow nice so good and you feel very elated you feel an upheaval in your mind about all the hormones of of ecstasy about yes i can do it and i'm so good i'm so wonderful and suddenly it's the next day when that person doesn't give you any kind of heed or doesn't pay attention to you you're down in your mood that is what god doesn't want you to do god that's why god says be connected to me be attached to me and detached from any expectations from people not from people but any expectations from people then baba says to the extent that someone becomes detached so he's accordingly loved imagine a person who's always wanting appreciation desiring that my ego is boosted by saying yes your idea is right you always correct and all and suddenly what has happens is that you don't get that appreciation and your mood goes up and down so i you actually detached you are not at all detached yet so god then says to the extent that someone becomes attached so he is accordingly loved so this next day when you don't get that appreciation your mood is off you don't talk to them politely you don't talk to them sweetly what happens are you loved no so that's what god says your mood swings have to be under my control not in other people's control so give all your moods to me talk to me tell me your weaknesses read the spiritual knowledge tell me your weaknesses means you are in constant connection with god you can tell somebody your weakness only when you're in connection with that person right you can sit next to them so go and sit in the param dham stay next to me talk to me my baba that i get jealous that baba i get uh, angry that baba i have these kind of weaknesses within me what is there in your knowledge that i should imbibe right now so that i can change this behavior of mine and the answers will come this is known as yoga this is known as meditation then god says that a detached stage is lovely you are lovable to god also you are loved by god also god is able to love you because you're not in your upheaval and other people also find you relaxed so they want to be next to you they want to love you back then god says those who do not become detached from external attachments become distressed instead of lovely external attachments means anything that an, an external reaction or an action anybody does and you blow your mind off into anger into jealousy into ego into mood off into feeling sad and baba says that is what is external attachments this is why an easy yogi is one who has speciality of being detached a person who doesn't want anything from anybody no desire of appreciation no desire of any ego boosting no desire of any yes your idea is nice listen to all those things comments and all and not wanting anybody to do things the way you want them to do that is also being forceful because not accepting everybody as they are with their own sanskars and habits and that is what doesn't let be a family at peace so god says that this is why an easy yogi is one who has speciality of being detached and if you're all the time trying to focus and trying to control the family members and all the people in your office in your workplace how can you be in connection with god you'll already be in your own web which you've created and then baba says has the speciality of being detached from expectations from wanting and desires of how people should be and loving so you're able to lovingly tell them what to do not forcefully not egoistically not angry and so free from all attachments and that's the method of being free from all attachments and then people will love to listen to you what to do what not but if you're getting pissed off angry why because you want your ego to be fulfilled that yes you are right and you want them to listen to you because that's what makes you powerful feel powerful and feel makes you feel very energetic and makes you feel that yes everybody listens to you you're in control of your life and you're in control of other people god says that is not control people won't like you they'll do it forcefully they'll do it just to keep you quiet just to make sure that you are at peace and you don't create a turmoil in the house or in your workplace or in your business so which person do you want to be god says so remove these attachments and desires from people and you'll automatically be peaceful so i leave you with this vardan have a blessed day stay safe stay home om shanti